Hi, I'm Stephen Marr. On September 21st, 2013, the Coasset High School varsity football team played at Rockland. It was a rough and physical game, but the Skippers toppled the Bulldogs in a 34-13 victory. The Skippers' offense was led by senior quarterback Chris Haggerty, who completed four passes for 115 yards and one touchdown scored on a long pass to senior receiver Liam Burke, who made an athletic grab over Rockland's cornerback's head. Burke had another touchdown reception on a halfback pass by senior Rocco Lagell. Burke totaled three receptions for 116 yards, while Lagell had one reception for 38 yards. Defensively, Lagell had three tackles, but junior Matt Froyo, linebacker, led the team with 16 tackles. Froyo has been a key component to Coasset's defense this season and always seems to be near the play. Senior linebackers Jack McGilgan and Will Bootenshane each had nine tackles this game. Coasset's linebacker lineup has been the strongest part of their defense this season. However, their line has also proved valuable. The linemen combined for 11 tackles, and sophomore defensive end Alex Norton had the only sack, assisted by sophomore linebacker Nick Hall. The young stud has seen many reps at linebacker and totaled five tackles this game. I myself had three tackles and three hurries on Rockland's quarterback, while junior defensive end Hayes Canale, senior defensive tackle Kelsey Nassant, and senior linebacker Danny Tangerlini each added another hurry. Tango has been another strong component to Quasset's defense, racking up six tackles this game. Tango recovered one of the two fumbles this game, while Canale recovered the other and ran it in for six points. Burke and junior running back Cole Kissick each put up 12 points, and sophomore kicker Henry Boonshane put up four extra points. Henry has put up 23 points this season with PAT kicks, which is more than senior receivers Burke and Lagell and senior fullback Ryan Gillis. Against Rockland, Gillis had four carries for 17 yards, plowing through the Rockland line with a full head of steam each time. Kissick has been Coasset's biggest running threat with seven carries for 38 yards and two touchdowns this game, but a total of 35 carries for 444 yards and nine touchdowns on the season. The first quarter of this game included a Rockland touchdown taking the lead 6-0 with one minute left. However, Coasset responded with three touchdowns in the second quarter. Kissick rushed for a touchdown inside Rockland's 20-yard line, and Haggerty completed a 65-yard pearl to Burke, who ran it in for the second score. The third touchdown came from Lagell's 40-yard pass to a wide-open Burke, who ran it in for his second touchdown in a row. At the half, Coasset led 20-6. Rockland got the ball at the start of the second half and scored to make it 20-13. Coasset took the ball and moved it into the red zone, where they turned it over to Rockland. The Bulldogs, in turn, fumbled the ball, which was recovered by Kniley, who ran it in to increase the lead 27-13. Quasset shut down Rockland and managed to score once again on a three-yard rush by Kissick in the beginning of the fourth quarter to make the score 34-13. Neither team managed to score for the remainder of the game, but Quasset stood victorious on Rockland's home field in this rough, dirty, and physical football battle.